Okay. All right. So we'll get started now that we're a few minutes in. So hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the Office of Alumni Relations for this Coyote Grad Prep webinar. A quick note, this webinar is being recorded, as you may have seen. So this is that we can share with you tomorrow via, via the senior newsletter, this recording. So please keep an eye out uh, for this recording on your student email going out tomorrow. A quick introduction of myself. My name is Aaron Brown. I am the Alumni Outreach and Communication Specialist for the Office of Alumni Relations. Thank you guys for joining us today. And on behalf of my department, the Office of Alumni Relations, we would like to congratulate you on making it this far to your goal. And we are super excited to welcome you to the alumni community in just less than three months. So congratulations. A quick note on what this webinar is about. What is the purpose of the Coyote Grad Prep webinar? So the Coyote Grad Prep webinar is for you, the graduating Coyotes. In the past, we have started to see many questions come up and students being confused on a handful of things leading up into commencement. And so this webinar was created in partnership with the Office of the Registrar and the Commencement Office to do our best and uh, to make this process a lot smoother to becoming a CSUSB alumni. So just some additional notes. <clears throat> Again, this webinar is being recorded and will be sent out to you via the senior newsletter by email to your student email. So please make sure to keep an eye out for it tomorrow. This video will also be displayed on the Grad Days website, which I'll go ahead and share a link in just a few minutes. Please leave all of your questions until the very end of the program so that we that way we can respect our presenters' time today and they can share all of the information to you as clear as they can. At the end of the program, you can use the Q&A option down below to enter your questions. We'll get through as many as we can today. Please be patient with us as there's going to be, I'm, I'm expecting around 100 questions. Usually that's what it always is. And again, this webinar is being recorded and will be posted to the Grad Days website and sent to you via email. So again, I mentioned grad days. Let me go and send this to everyone. Perfect. So please make sure to follow the Office of the Registrar and the Commencement Office as well, as we'll be posting meaningful information. So again, grad days. This is your reminder to RSVP for grad days. Grad days is your one-stop shop for all of your commencement needs. This three-day event will take place at both the San Bernardino and Palm Desert campus from April 8th to the 10th. Join us during grad days to take your graduation headshot and skip the long process on scheduling an appointment with a photographer. Learn about how you can apply to a CSUSB graduate program. Purchase your cap and gown for graduation in person. Learn what resources you get once becoming an alumni. Basically, this kicks off the celebration to your upcoming big day, uh, crossing that big stage at commencement. Aaron, my apologies. Um, we've got the ASL interpreter in and was wondering if we could share their camera for them. Uh, They're in the Q&A um, portion. They, they've submitted. Okay. Um, my apologies for interrupting. Huh. That is a good question. Um, Just a quick second. Give me a second, everybody. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Mark, I believe you might have been signed on. You said signed on. There we go. There you go, Mark. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Back to this. So, grad days. Um, so again, this is your one-stop shop for all your graduation needs to all of you, though, to all of those who are graduating. Um, it's a great event, three-day event. Please make sure to uh, attend one of the three events. Again, the Palm Desert Campus event is going to be taking place on the 10th from 1 to 6. And then the Grad Days event taking place at the San Bernardino Dino campus is on the 8th and the 9th, taking place from 10, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. You might have gotten some information regarding Grad Pack sales. So let me go ahead and send that to everyone. Awesome. So you may also be able to purchase grad packs online or at grad days physically, which also qualifies you to get a discount with the bookstore and save money on diploma frames at grad days. 
This grad pack includes a reusable CSUSB alumni branded tote bag, a set of spirit cords that not only gets you recognized at commencement, but it becomes your first gift to the university with a purchase. And the headliner is the license plate frame in this grad pack. This is the best quality license plate frame you will find. Great quality, heavy duty metal to be placed on your vehicle, hopefully for a lifetime. Here is some visuals. Again, if you do purchase a grad pack, you do get a discount on uh, a Jocelyn's diploma frame, which they'll be selling at grad days. Again, April 8th to the 9th, we'll be at the San Bernardino campus, SMSU North Conference Center. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then April 10th, it's going to be at the Palm Desert campus from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. inside the RG building lobby. Make sure to check your email. Again, this is being recorded. So please make sure to make sure to check that. All questions are going to be answered at the end of this program. Please make sure to follow the office of the registrar and the commencement office at CSUSB underscore registrar and at CSUSB special events. An additional note, let me make sure to add this. Do not forget that there is still availability to our Yotes travel program trips. Italy, Costa Rica, and Spain and Portugal are the trips taking place this summer. So please click in the please click the link in the chat. I should add that here. Uh, and click the chat, and you'll get more information regarding the Yotes travel program. We, the Office of Alumni Relations, are proud to say that we throw some incredible events and engagement opportunities throughout the year. Please make sure to stay up to date with all the upcoming alumni events by following us on social media at CSUSB Alumni. Here's just a tease of one of the first summer events taking place this summer. So please make sure to visit our alumni events page at alumni.csusb.edu slash events. So that way you can stay updated with all the information going forward regarding events. And to kind of close it out on my portion of the introduction, you should have received an email regarding the, in the senior newsletter regarding claim your free membership. So this is the final announcement before we begin our webinar. You can now claim a one year free membership to the Alumni Association, a welcome gift from the Office of Alumni Relations for soon becoming an official CSUSB alumni. Get discounts for alumni owned businesses, exclusive on-campus perks, and at every event, there's more than likely a welcome gift for all of our alumni association members. Join the alumni association today and start showing that Coyote for Life pride. Now, with that being said, I'd like it to pass it over to Sergio. He is with the Office of the Registrar. Sergio, it's your show. Hi, thank you, Aaron. Yeah, so uh, my name is Sergio Mendez. I'm a transfer and graduation counselor with the Office of the Registrar. Um, so yeah, this is my first time doing this. I've been here for about six years, but I'm glad to be here. Okay, yeah, so this will be uh, basically all the information about um, anything regarding graduation, like the grad check, um, you know, any other like fees associated with it, and uh, anything that kind of goes along with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the grad, uh, the graduation check or the grad check, as we like to call it, um, it just indicates the term that you're going to be graduating in. So, for example, spring 24 uh, would be the term that you uh, all have been filed for. Uh, and a grad check must be on file in order for your uh, degree to be confirmed, as well as all the requirements to have been completed. OK, I know this is a giant wall of text, so I'll try to summarize it as much as I can. Um, so what we do now is called a, a university initiated grad check. So it's automatically initiated for you by the university. I know a lot of students get uh, very anxious about that because um, what typically happens is they'll see uh, an email and then a fee associated with it. Um, but the good thing is uh, you don't have to pay for it, it you know, right away. It, it can be paid for uh, as you get closer to uh, graduation. And um, if you have some requirements that need to be uh, still met, you can still, you know, refile it to a later term. So, for example, if you weren't going to be finished in, at the end of spring, you could refile to summer. Uh, the grad check fee is $75. There's no late fees unless, you know, you're changing your major or adding a minor or dropping a minor or anything, anything that's uh, 
specifically geared towards like the plan that's changing. There's no penalties for just uh, going to a later term or even going up to an earlier term. Um, as far as undergraduate fee or undergraduate students go, uh, usually we recommend students uh, speak to their advisor just to make sure that all the requirements are going to be met. Uh, there's no um, out holds out there or anything like an incomplete, anything like that, uh, just to make sure everything's on track to graduate. That way there's no surprises. Um, as for graduate students, uh, graduate students have to uh, speak to their coordinator because we not only on top of uh, the all the requirements being met, we also need uh, the advancement of candidacy, uh, which is uh, basically just the same thing as the program plan, but we need that on file with us uh, before a grad graduate student can file for a graduation. Uh, you'll eventually get an email uh, once the grad, uh, grad check is completed, uh, and it'll be basically like a PDF version of your pause report. Uh, so if anything looks like it's missing, it's just because uh, we use what we have at the time. So if there's still some uh, courses to be completed or in progress, that's totally fine. It's just uh, what we use at the time. Okay. Um, university honors. So for university honors, uh, you, uh, the undergraduate student must have been completed uh, with 30 semester units of work, as it says right here, and it's only awarded to undergraduate students. Uh, unfortunately, graduate students do not uh, get awarded university honors. Um, and then as far as university honors goes, it's usually awarded the term prior uh, to commencement. So for example, if you wanted university honors for spring, it'll you'll be it has to be up until the fall. So if you didn't qualify at the time uh, for the GPA, then you won't be given university honors. Uh, like even if you were, you know, below like the 3.5, uh, for example. Um, the final academic standing is determined after all the coursework is completed, so it is possible to still get your university on honors, but it'll be awarded after the fact. Um, we also don't do any rounding, so even if you are at a three point four nine 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 nine, you know we won't, you know, you won't be able to get awarded university honors, unfortunately. Um, and we all always use this uh, through the system systematically with with the pause report and everything like that. So anytime that there's um, an, any issue, it may just be because we still need a transcript if you feel that you have met it. But, you know, there is no typically issues with, you know, the calculations or anything like that because it's all shown on your pause report there. Um, so we have three different types of university honors. There's cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. Uh, cum laude is 3.5 uh, or above, and a GPA, well, it's both GPAs, actually. Sorry for that. It's the cumulative and your CSUSB work. So if you have any work from a community college, it's in taken into account as well. So both GPAs need to be 3.5 or above. And same goes for the magna cum laude, which is 3.75, both cumulative and CSUSB GPA. Same thing with uh, summa cum laude, it has to be 3.9 GPA or above. Uh, the Office of the Registrar, we always send out eligible students uh, an email of as far as the indicating the honor, so six to eight weeks before commencement. So you should be seeing it around uh, this time, probably around April, first week of April, if anything. It just sort of depends. Um, the commencement office distributes uh, the cords. So once you go to grad days, it'll be there. Um, they'll usually typically have a list there. Um, and that's typically how it goes. So if you have any issues, you know, just feel free to contact uh, us or um, the commencement office for that if, you, if you've run into any issues. Um, as far as departmental honors go, they're not included in the university honors, so those are separate. Uh, the departments will notify our office as, uh, of eligible students after all the grades are passed so that it can be eventually notated on your transcript. Okay, so diplomas. Diplomas, uh, you, uh, you'll you receive your diploma typically uh, four weeks after the term ends. Sometimes it can be a little bit sooner, but we always just say uh, four weeks just to uh, give a good um, estimate of when you'll be receiving it. Uh, it'll be sent to the uh, address you'll have on file with us. So 
and it also indicate the term. So it'll say, you know, Sergio Mendez uh, graduating spring 2024 um, for uh, biology. So at this point, what it also will be uh, mailed out is you should also check out the um, on your student center, the information as far as your uh, addresses goes. You can always change it with our office, um, but just to make sure that it, it's sent to the correct address, because we do uh, have that issue sometimes where a student moves um, for uh, employment or anything like that, and you know it, it's sent to the uh, incorrect address, and then we have to resend it out. Okay, so yeah, for address changes, you can do that uh, through, uh, through your student center, My Coyote. Um, if you're having any issues, again, just contact our office. Sometimes just weird things happen, uh, glitch in the system. So if you have any questions, just call us uh, at our office here. Um, name changes. Uh, so that'll have to be done with our graduation unit specifically. Um, and that information is right there uh, with uh, uh, for both our uh, email and phone number. Um, as far as grades go, typically uh, professors are given two weeks to uh, input all the grades and make sure everything's entered in correctly and submitted to our office uh, for finalizing. And then at that point, our, our office begins the graduation process. And then once we uh, confer the degrees, the information, we send it to a vendor uh, so that they can send out a diploma. So we, we do have to order that. It's not done in-house. We do have to order the diplomas. Um, you'll also be getting an email confirmation to let you know that, hey, your diploma is on its way. That way you also have something in writing to uh, let you know that you should be expecting it soon. And it, if it doesn't arrive within the four weeks, then you can call us um, and let us know if uh, whatever happened, if you did move uh, or any other issues that may come up uh, with um, with the degree, with receiving your diploma. Okay, so yes, so uh, as far as context goes, you can contact our office at 909-537-5219. Uh, specifically, this is uh, our number for our graduation unit. Uh, but this is what uh, you, will be the best point of contact for getting uh, the most concise information regarding this. Uh, and then the commencement office as well uh, provided this number right there as well. So yeah, congratulations. Yeah, and good luck to everybody there. Awesome, let me make some moves really quick. Thank you so much, Sergio. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you to the Office of the Registrar for assisting our Coyote Pack on creating a smooth transition from graduating student to alumni. Uh, I've shared again on the screen some additional notes. So once again, please make sure to hold all questions until the end, as we will allow the presenters to share their information first. You can then use the Q&A option below to ask your questions. Also remember that this webinar is being recorded, as you may have noticed and will be sent to your student email tomorrow in the senior newsletter. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. So a quick message from one of our partners. So get exclusive offers from our Grad Days champion sponsor, Dell Technologies. Scan the QR code to see the newest deals on your tech needs. Score big on limited time offers and remember to claim your exclusive discount. Dell will have a table at Grad Days uh, sharing some information regarding the graduating student specials that they will be offering. So please make sure to stop by their table. If you have any questions, please feel free to just reach out to the Office of Alumni Relations. And again, another note on claiming your free one-year membership to the Alumni Association. You can now claim the one-year membership to the association, a welcome gift from the Office of Alumni Relations for soon to become official CSUSB alumni. Get discounts for alumni-owned businesses, exclusive on-campus perks, and at every event, there is more than likely a welcome gift for our alumni association members. Join the alumni association, alumni association today and start showing that Coyote for Life pride. So if you guys did not get that link earlier, I'll make sure to add it into the chat now. And of course, we wanna make sure to promote, once again, Grad Days is taking place on April 8th to the 10th. The 8th and the 9th will be at the San Bernardino campus. On April 10th, it will be at the Palm Desert campus. You can find more information at alumni.csusb.edu.
edu slash grad days. And don't forget to purchase your grad pack at grad days or online currently at the grad days website. You will be, an be entered to win a grad days prize, special recognition at commencement with those spirit boards and a portion of the proceeds do give back to student scholarships. And again, just an added bonus, if you purchase a grad pack, you will be entered to get an offer for a discounted diploma frame from Justin's. So with that being said, I'll hand it over to the commencement office with Stephanie and Ginny uh, as her backup. So Stephanie, go ahead and take the show. Hi, everybody. Um, again, my name is Stephanie Pacheco. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just give you some more information on what to expect for commencement, um, how to register and any questions or answer any questions on those. So uh, yeah, if we go on, can go on to the next slide. So for spring 2024 commencement, it is going to be taking place on Friday, May 17th and Saturday, May 18th at the Toyota Arena um, in Ontario. And here's the commencement schedule. So for Friday, May 17th, um, we will be uh, having two separate ceremonies uh, for social and behavioral sciences. So the first one, um, the ceremony will be at 1.30 p.m. Doors will be opening up at 12.30 p.m. And this ceremony will consist of child development, economics, ethnic studies, political science, and psychology. The second ceremony, which starts at 6 p.m., um, doors will be opening out at 5, um, and the uh, majors that will fall under this ceremony are anthropology, criminal justice, geography, environmental studies, history, social sciences, social work, and sociology. Um, and then for Saturday, May 18th, um, we will have three separate ceremonies. The first one being at 9 a.m. This is the College of Natural Sciences, where doors will be opening up at 8 a.m. The second ceremony will begin at 1.30. Um, this would be for the College of Arts and Letters and Watson College of Education. Um, oh, and again, doors will be opening up at 12.30. <laughs> um, and then the final ceremony that we will have on May 18th is uh, starts at 6 p.m. And this is for the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration ceremony. Um, and again, doors will be opening up at 5 p.m., so one hour prior. All right, so how to register for commencement. Uh, graduates with an approved graduation check on file will be eligible um, to register for commencement. Uh, so registration for spring 2024 did open on Monday, March 4th at 12 p.m. and it will be closing on Monday, April 22nd at 5 p.m. Uh, so to be able to register for commencement, um, you're gonna log on to your My Coyote and you're gonna see the graduation one-stop tile. So we do have a, a little screenshot of what it'll look like on here. Um, so just please be sure to complete the steps through um, the commencement registration process and then uh, to also complete the marching order graduation form. And then the deadline to update your diploma name for commencement uh, for the commencement ceremony and the printed program is Friday, March 29th at 5 p.m. So just make sure uh, that your information is updated um, and make sure to do that before March 29th. All right, so this is also a screenshot of what the graduation one-stop tile will look like. Um, if you just wanna just take a look a little bit. Uh, so uh, it does give you the steps on what you need to do to participate for the ceremony. Um, and then it also has the, info, like it would have your information on there as well as the, um, it'll have your diploma address, your degree information. And then if you do have university honors, it will indicate it on there as well. And there is also a link for grad days. So um, just make sure that you do register for grad days. Um, we'll be out there tabling and providing information as well. So make sure to register. <laughs> All right, so things that you need to know. Uh, so these are some of the questions that we have received from graduates previously. Uh, so first one is, are there different ceremonies for undergrad or graduates? The answer is no, the ceremonies are, are only separated by academic college. Um, second one is, how do I know if I'm eligible to participate for commencement? So eligible graduates would have a, with a valid graduation check on file through the office of the registrar um, and have all of their fees, associated fees paid. So, um, and if ever you do have a question, you can always reach out to our office and we can check your eligibility on our side. Uh, next question is, how do I make sure my name is pronounced correctly? So once you get onto the marching order website, um, there will be an option for you to type in your name phonetically, as well as an option for you to record, uh, record yourself saying your name. So that way we can make sure that your name is said correctly on the day of the ceremony. 
And then can my family watch this online? So we do stream, uh, live stream the ceremony. Um, so on the day of commencement, if you go onto our commencement webpage, um, there will be a link on there to show um, so that we you could, your guests can be able to see the ceremony. And then where can I claim my tickets? So tickets will be claimed through marching order. Further details and information will be released at a later date. Uh, so just keep an eye on your email, but um, we are hoping to release that. Um, it will be after registration closes, which is April 22nd. So just keep an, an eye out on your email after that date um, and we'll make sure to send out that information. And then who requires a ticket to enter the arena? So anybody um, entering the arena, regardless of age, will require a ticket. All right, some additional information. Uh, so some of this, I know Sergio and the Office of the Registrar did kind of uh, cover some of this information. So um, uh, so basically for university honor courts, so uh, graduates who are uh, university honors eligible will be receiving an email notification from the Office of the Registrar. Um, and then you will also be receiving an email from the comm commencement office on distribution and pickup information. Uh, so uh, just keep an eye out for that email. Um, it should be coming out soon. And then um, there are three different tiers for university honors, and it is based on the semester prior to commencement, so the, the term before. Uh, so we have summa cum laude, which is the golden maroon cord. Um, this is with an overall cumulative, cumulative and CSUSB GPA of a 3.9 or above. We have the magna cum laude, this is the gold cord with an overall cumulative GPA and your CSUSB GPA of a 3.75 or above. And then we have our cum laude, which is the maroon cord. And this is the overall and CSUSB cumulative GPA of, um, of a 3.5 or above. And then um, there are departmental honors. Uh, just note that this is uh, departmental honors are issued out through your department. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your department on that. All right, so for commencement regalia, it can be purchased uh, at the beginning of grad days through Jost uh, and as well as uh, through Jostens. So um, yeah, when you go to, to grad days, you are able to purchase your regalia there. Um, you are able to also purchase it through uh, Jostens. Just note that the deadline to order um, is on April 5th. So just make sure that you, um, if you are planning on ordering, on, uh, ordering online, make sure to do it before then. Um, and then um, the next one is can, uh, Sorry, you can also purchase after grad days as well. So um, you would just have to go to the Coyote Bookstore and you can purchase your regalia through there. All right, and reminders, just please make sure to check your commencement or your campus email for commencement information and any updates that we have on our side. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. And then if you have not received any, any information on commencement, please make sure um, that your grad check has been approved through the Office of the Registrar. Um, and then also just make sure to check your junk and spam folders. All right, and here's just our information. If you um, want to take a look at our site, we do update our information on our website. Um, so we do have, um, you know, just the schedule on there um, and any updated information that we have. So just make sure to keep an eye on that. Um, here's our email. If you do have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out as well as our phone number. And then um, also please be sure to follow us on social media. Um, here's our uh, Instagram handle. And then for any additional resources, we do have the uh, contact information for undergrad, uh, for any undergrad eligibility questions, graduate eligibility questions, diploma, Coyote Bookstore and Jostens as well. Beautiful, Stephanie. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll go ahead and lead us into the next few slides and then we'll get to questions. Awesome. So again, Grad Days is going to be taking place on April 8th to the 10th. You can register for the event using the link that I am inserting into the chat at the moment. April 8th to the 9th is going to be at the San Bernardino campus. And then April 10th will be held at the Palm Desert campus inside the RG building. You may also purchase an alumni grad pack at Grad Days, which also qualifies you to get a discount with the bookstore and save money on a diploma frame from Jostens at Grad Days. So again, please make sure to RSVP for Grad Days if you have not yet so Again, a final message on claiming your membership. So you can now claim a free one-year membership 
to the Alumni Association, a welcome gift from the Office of Alumni Relations for soon becoming an official CSUSB alumni. Get discounts for alumni-owned businesses, exclusive on-campus perks, and at every event, there is more than likely a welcome gift for our Alumni Association members. Join the Alumni Association today and start showing that Coyote for Life pride. Before we open it up for questions, and we do have a few questions already prepped for everyone, so please hold off until we get those questions. So before we open it up, let me make sure to ask a few questions uh, so that way this webinar will be um, as meaningful to you guys and beneficial to you guys, but make sure to follow the Office of Alumni Relations. We do post updates regarding events, uh, alumni association perks, benefits, everything that contains Office of Alumni Relations content. We will be making sure we will be making sure to share that on social media. This is our QR code to our Instagram. So I'll leave it up here for a few more seconds so that way you can scan that. And as I mentioned, I have a, a couple pre-asked questions I will go um, just in, in order of, and then we'll make sure to open it up to questions for the Q&A. So if there is a question that you may have missed or asked, want to ask, use the Q&A down below, but we'll get through these first couple of questions. So we'll go just from the list that we have here that are most common questions that we get during Coyote grad prep. So the first one, I'll push this one towards the commencement office. How many tickets are given to each student for commencement? Thank you, Aaron. So for this one, the tickets are going to be based on the number of students that register for each ceremony. So once the ceremony uh, registration ends on April 22nd, then we'll release the information on how many tickets each of the students will get. But unfortunately, right now, we don't have an estimate. And I did awesome. want to make one correction on the presentation as well. So tickets will be claimed through Ticketmaster in the spring. And then children under two do not require a ticket at Toyota Arena. Okay, the next question, I'll push it towards you, Sergio, with the Office of the Registrar. How do we order transcripts? Okay, so transcripts can be ordered uh, online or, or in person with, uh, with our office. Like uh, we're located in University Hall. Uh, room 171, uh, but typically uh, transcripts can be ordered uh, or even by phone call with us. Um, typically with the transcripts, um, you can order online. Uh, we do have it on our website through uh, the CSUSB registrar website. Um, and let's see if I can provide a link here, if anything. Um, but yeah, so there is, uh, and to do it online, it's available 24-7. Uh, there is a two dollar additional two dollar and sixty uh, cents convenience fee, but it's done through uh, parchment. So let me see if I can. So there we go. Okay, there we go. I just added uh, the link to the page in the chat. Um, but yeah, so transcript fees are six dollars. Uh, but yeah, it would it could be done online, in person, uh, or by phone call if anything. Awesome. The next question I can take care of, it says, will you be sharing this slide? Um, I will be sharing the recording. Make sure to keep an eye out of, at your student email tomorrow. I will be sending this Coyote Grad Prep recording to you via the senior newsletter. The next question I can hand it over to you once again, Sergio, is, is there a physical location where I can confirm my grad check was approved? Yeah, so uh, you can uh, visit us here at the Office of the Registrar, uh, University Hall 171, um, or you can call us on our line. Uh, it's going to be uh, for evaluations. It's going to be 909-537-5200. Uh, and it's going to be uh, option four. So it, it'll give you a selection of options. Um, but yeah, we can take a look at it and just let you know, hey, uh, if you have a question like, hey, um, is my grad check gone through yet? And we can take a look at that for you. Awesome. Jenny, I have a couple questions here for tickets and I'll kind of give you the best question that overlooks all of them. So one, does everyone receive the same amount of tickets? Do children under the age of two need a ticket and will tickets be physical or digital? So um, the ceremony number of tickets might might flex just based on the number of students registered for each ceremony. 
but regardless, every student in the same college will receive the same number of tickets. Um, children under the age of two do not require a ticket for the spring ceremonies. And tickets are primarily digital, but if you need um, physical tickets, you can reach out to the commencement office and we can exchange them for you. Awesome, thank you to the commencement office. I can take the next question is, there, you mentioned that there's a photographer at grad days. Are they free? So we do have our champion spots are gonna be in attendance at grad days. Grad images will be there taking photos for those who want to take a graduation headshot prior to commencement. To take the photo, there is no charge, but obviously they will be sharing those photos with you on if there's a certain package you would like, different sizing, so on and so forth. But to physically come to grad days, and take that headshot at grad days, there is no fee for that. So you can kind of skip the appointment of trying to find a photographer and so on. Uh, for the commencement office, do we rehearse for graduation ceremonies or how does that usually work? So there isn't an official rehearsal for the ceremony. You'll receive all the details. Um, two weeks prior to the ceremony, you'll receive all the details on what you need to do, where you need to check in. And then the date of commencement, there will be people ushering um, you to the correct spot, you'll line up by major, and then there will be ushers, um, marshals guiding you out onto the floor, but there is not an, um, a rehearsal for commencement. Okay, and there's a question that I can take care of. It says, how do you order your cap and gown and how much does a regalia cost? So if the graduating students have yet to receive a mailer to your address, you should be receiving one soon. It will be sent to you from Jostens, with the different pricing of regalia, uh, sashes, diploma frames, um, different kind of gear that they'll be showcasing at grad days, but it'll have the different pricings on that sheet. And then you can either get your regalia at the bookstore uh, prior to grad days, I believe they should announce it. So make sure to follow them on social media to get that information. You can purchase your regalia in person at grad days, April 8th to the 10th. And regalia will be available after grad days, uh, pending the amount and the need of it at the bookstore following grad days. I have a question here for the Office of the Registrar. And Sergio, where do I go to confirm my diploma mailing address? So for that, I believe you can go to your uh, student center for that one. Or you can give us a call as well. Uh, honestly, sometimes it's, it's easier for... Uh, uh, us to get a call, but typically uh, for the student center, you can go to my academics on uh, on there, and then there'll be something where it'll say uh, graduation info or uh, something regarding graduate. They always change it, uh, but from there, it'll say like mailing address, diploma address, uh, and permanent address, and you can adjust those as you can. Awesome. I have another question here that Sergio, you could probably be able to help. It says, if we were to able to register for commencement, does that mean our grad check was accepted? I believe I did my last semester. If we, if they were able to, um, I'm sorry, what was it? So exactly how, if they were able to register for this spring? Yeah. So if they registered for commencement for this spring, does that mean that their grad check was approved? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you would, wouldn't get any like commencement information or emails, anything like that if the grad check wasn't approved. Awesome. And for the commencement office, uh, two questions regarding regalia. So one, I have, I already have a black cap and gown. Do I need to purchase another one during grad days? And then also, is there an option to rent regalia somewhere on campus? So if you've got a black cap and gown already from a previous ceremony, that is perfectly fine to wear. So there's no problem as long as it's the, the black cap and gown. Uh, and right now, unfortunately, there isn't anywhere that you can rent regalia on campus. Okay. So again, regarding cap and gown and sash, it says, do we pick them up on grad days? If you purchase them through the bookstore prior to grad days, they'll share information on how to get your hands on that. If you come to grad days, you will be able to walk out of the door with your cap and gown and the sashes that they do provide at grad days. Um, let's see. For the Office of the Registrar, at the moment, can I change the name that will be on my diploma? Yes, you can. Yeah, as long as it's it's been sent out uh, before, um, you know, we eventually mail it out. 
uh, you can change it. Um, you can even change it, I believe, after, but that's going to be like an additional fee because we still need to, you know, resend it and all that. Um, so that would be a bigger issue. I haven't seen that, so I'm not too familiar with that particular part after the after it's been sent out. Uh, but yeah, you can certainly change it right now. Awesome. And to follow up with a question that was if we were going to be able to share this slide deck, Jasmine, you can go ahead and email me. Um, if there's any individuals who want to email me any questions regarding this PowerPoint, you can email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N dot Brown, B-R-O-W-N at C-S-U-S-B dot E-D-U. And I'll make sure to get that PowerPoint over to you. And again, this is being recorded. So the, uh, the recording will be sent over to you guys tomorrow. Um, let's see here, commencement office. Do I need to participate in the commencement ceremony? No, participation and commencement is completely optional. Uh, Officer of the Registrar, where can I find if I'm on track for graduation or my graduation status? Um, so, I think what they're referring to is probably like if they're on track to grad, like they're finishing their degree. So the you're gonna uh, want to look at your pause report. Um, so if you're um, gra uh, graduating in the spring, you want your pause report to say at the top, all requirements completed, in progress courses used. Um, you don't want to see any uh, red requirements on there. You want to see it uh, both green and blue. Um, that'll say uh, what's been completed and what's in progress to be completed. So that's a good way of knowing uh, that you're uh, on track to graduate on time. Uh, you can also just give us a call like to make sure that you don't have any holds out there because that could also uh, delay graduation or at least receiving your degree. Um, but yeah, you can also talk to uh, the Office of the Registrar or your advisor. Awesome. I have a question here regarding the regalia grant for the Office of Alumni Relations. Is there any update? So we are still looking over the applications. I want to say we will be getting in contact with those selected for the regalia grant on March 22nd. So there's still a few weeks. We'll make sure to contact those who have received the regalia grant prior to grad days. So again, March 22nd is going to be the date for the Office of Alumni Relations. Uh, to select those who received the regalia grant. If you didn't hear from us regarding the regalia grant past the 22nd, that means other individuals were selected. Questions here for your commencement office. Do the commencement tickets have assigned seating? No, they're just general admission seats. Awesome. And then again, back to you, Jenny. Does everyone from the same major sit together during commencement or can we sit next to our friends? Uh, commencement, they're lined up by their major, but within that major, it doesn't matter. There's no specific order. Okay, and back to you, Jenny. What is the deadline for commencement registration? Yeah, so the, the uh, incorrect date went out. Um, the correct date is going to be Monday, April 22nd. But if anybody has any concerns about meeting the deadline, please reach out to the commencement office and we can help you. Okay, are there any dress codes for the commencement ceremony for graduates? No, it's just required to wear the black cap and gown. And for those who do not know what regalia is, it's your cap and gown. So when we speak about regalia, it's cap gown uh, for your graduation ceremony. Um, a sash is the um, kind of arching type necklace looking like type thing. I don't know how to consume <laughs> I'd explain that a little bit more, but um, regalia basically is a capping gown. Okay. Um, for the off for the commencement office, um, it says I missed the ceremony dates. What were they? I can go back to that slide so that way they can see that, and you can share any information you would like. So we have uh, the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences is broken up into two colleges on Friday. And then on Saturday, we have the remaining college, Natural Sciences at 9 a.m., Arts and Letters and Education at 1.30, and the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration at 6 p.m. And these, this is by um, academic college, so it's regardless of which campus. This is for both the San Bernardino and the Palm Desert campus. So we'll just have one um, commencement cer ceremony for both campuses.
questions. Perfect. And then regarding the commencement office, once again, where would I get my honor course if it is coming from the university? For university honor cords, we will begin distribution at grad days on Monday, April 8th. Um, if you're not able to attend grad days, then you can pick them up from the uh, Office of Special Events and Guest Services or the commencement office beginning on Monday, April 15th. We're open Monday through Friday from eight to five. Uh, you just need to bring in your, your picture ID as well as the email indicating your honors level. And then we will also have distribution um, a schedule put together for distribution of university honor cords at Palm Desert campus, and that will be emailed to emailed out to all the students as well. Awesome. And I have a couple questions regarding grad days. Um, if they would be able to pick up their grad packs at grad days or if they'll be mailed to them, if you purchase your grad pack prior to grad days, meaning if you buy them online at this very moment, you'll be able to come to grad days and pick it up at the event. Uh, grad packs do uh, the sales stop right after the final day of grad days. So on April 10th uh, at 6 p.m., the form will be closed and no more grad packs will be sold at any further uh, moving forward in the semester. Uh, you can also purchase, they will have uh, tassels at, grad, at uh, grad days. They'll have some class of 2024 gear at grad days. Um, so those individual items for graduation, you'll be able to purchase items there, as well as we do have a community partner with the commencement group. They'll be there tabling and they'll be selling flat. They won't be selling flowers to you that day, but you can pre-order your flowers and, uh, your lays at grad days, and you can pick them up on site at commencement. Mm. Uh, for the commencement office is how long does commencement usually last? Uh, two hours. That is our goal. So it's um, two hours and under. And then if a graduate has someone that needs um, handicap access, what would be the process for them? So we, we, we can, if you want to reach out to the commencement office, we can share the customer service information for Toyota Arena and all of the accommodations can be set up through the arena. If it's a student that is needing specific access, they can reach out to the office um, of stu uh, services with students with disabilities and they can assist um, any students as well. Awesome. And I have a question here that's regarding the spring Latinx commencement. Um, I don't have any information for that commencement celebration. Um, I recommend you following ALFS. I believe they're the partner who hosts that event. Um, follow them on social media. They usually post um, when those dates would be coming, if there will be one in this uh, for this semester. Um, so, so for the commencement office, after tickets are sent out, will there be additional tickets to purchase or available? No, tickets are never for sale, so you shouldn't buy them from anyone, especially digital tickets. <laughs> um, so there aren't any additional tickets. When we divide up the tickets, we give equal amount to all students, and that max is out the arena. So what I would recommend if students need extra tickets, they can reach out to their classmates or anybody in the same ceremony and, um, and inquire about extra tickets from their fellow classmates. Okay, a uh, question regarding grad days. Will graduation announcements be available for order and to arrive in time at grad day? So Jocelyn's will be in attendance. They're one of our biggest partners at grad days. They will have a table with uh, class rings and announcement packages. So you can come to grad day, speak to them on the best package for you, and they'll be able to share more information on when you would get them, how you would pay for them, so on and so forth. Uh, for Ginny, is a sash required for commencement? Nope, no, no sash is uh, required, just the, the cap and gown. Awesome. And there's a question regarding grad days. Is grad days the event where I had to register my guests? So once you registered for grad days, we did ask if you will be bringing any guests, and that is going to be separate from your commencement registration. Okay. Again, regarding regalia, you can purchase regalia um, prior to grad days, I believe. I'd recommend following the bookstore on social media. 
to see when they plan on opening that up. And then you can purchase regalia at grad days. And the bookstore will have a limited quantity of regalia packages after grad days as well. Question, um, please bear with us, everyone. Um, you may be able to give more description on this, Jenny. What about the Latinx graduation? Is it the same process as commencement or is it completely different? Um, it's going to be completely different. That one is um, run by ALPS, so I don't have any detailed information regarding ceremony time or tickets or registration at that um, right now. Yeah, but that that's not handled by commencement office. And once that information is set, then um, if you follow them on social media, it should be posted up soon. Perfect. And then two questions regarding commencement is, where will they be able to find the live stream link to their specific ceremony? And what are the restrictions on commencement as far as balloons, noisemakers, signs, flowers, et cetera? Yes. So live stream, live stream links will be um, both on the, the CSUSB homepage on the day of commencement, as well as on the commencement homepage. So we'll have them posted there. There'll just be YouTube links uh, that you can copy and paste and share out to um, any guests. And I'm sorry, Erin, what was the second question? Uh, the restrictions regarding balloons and flowers. Yes, so you can refer to the Toyota Arena um, restricted items, but primarily balloons are not allowed in, wrapped presents, flowers are allowed, um, but any of the standard um, items, and that will be emailed out to all of the students a couple weeks prior to commencement as well. Okay, and then regarding honor cords, I have a question here. To get honor cords, we, do we need to attend grad days to pick them up? How do we know if we qualify for honor cords? On my commencement registration, it shows that honors I am receiving, but I want to make sure this would be the accurate uh, way or if I would get an email confirming honors eligibility. Yeah, so if you can't attend grad days, you can pick them up um, in the Office of Special Events and Guest Services. We're located in the Alumni Center on the second floor. So you can pick those up anytime beginning on uh, Monday, April 15th, uh, and we're open Monday through Friday from eight to five. And then we'll also share out the locations um, out at the Palm Desert campus once we have those set as well. Um, for notification, you will receive an email from the office of the registrar detailing it. But if you also see it on your, uh, coyote, your uh, graduation one stop, then that is accurate because that is pulling what, what you're eligible for as of right now. Okay, and I believe this question would go towards the Office of the Registrar. It says, looking at, uh, sorry, what is going to happen with holds for the FAFSA? Would you be able to answer that, Sergio? Um, uh, That one I would probably have them speak to Student Financial Services um, because we wouldn't have access to look at that. Well, we can look at the hold, but we wouldn't be able to uh, remove it. So if there's anything like uh, with financial aid, uh, or, uh, like fees due, that would be with student financial services. Yeah. Sometimes it depends on, uh, certain holds, like some will, some of them will hinder graduation. Um, it just really depends. Like I would have to take a look at whatever, um, you know, student financial services puts out on there. Um, as far as that goes. Okay, and I'm not quite sure who this one will go to, but I'll ask and see who jumps in first. So it says, looking at the graduation one stop on my degree, all minors and certificates show as well. If you are doing a minor and certificate or just the major, if it's supposed to show, who can I contact to assist me with this? Uh, I can answer to that one partially. Sorry, sorry, Jen. Um, if, um, only the degree would show up. Like minors would not uh, be printed on the diploma uh, or anything like that. If they do have certificates, that also wouldn't appear either uh, on the diploma itself. Um, that would be awarded uh, separately later on as far as like certificates go. Um, but yeah, that wouldn't show up. It would just show your major and that's it. Yeah, and it's the same for commencement ceremony purposes. It would just be the major. Okay. And for the commencement office, can we wear any type of grad stole or are there any restrictions? No, as long as it's, you know, appropriate, doesn't have any um, 
negative or profane information on it, then you're, you're free to, to wear whichever um, sash or stole you would like. Awesome. So to answer a question regarding the Yotes travel program, it says for the travel program, can we invite guests or is it only for CSUSB students and alumni? So you can invite any guests. Um, the only restriction that there is, is whichever guest it is must be attending the travel program with some affiliation to the university. So if there's a graduate who wants to bring their younger sibling, if their parents want to go with them on one of these trips, they are able to attend one of these trips because of their affiliation with that with the university. And then I have a question here. Do we have to attend grad days from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. or can we attend within any time of those hours? So doors open at 10 a.m. from April 8th and April 9th. Doors open at 10 a.m. and doors will be closing at 6 p.m. So you can come at any point in between those hours, but our doors won't open till 10 a.m. We do kind of have a little bit of a line in the beginning. Um, and then doors will be closing right exactly at 6 p.m. At the Palm Desert campus, it's going to be on April 10th. Doors will open at 1 o'clock. And then we'll be, we will be closing down all the services at 6 p.m. And you'll get more information in the senior newsletter um, regarding more dates, times, just for more clarification. Um, and again, regarding other accessories for graduation, you will be able to purchase announcements, class rings, diploma frames, class of 2024 tassels, all at grad days, um, as well as on Jocelyn's website. And then cap and gown, obviously, you can purchase that at um, grad days as well. Thank you guys for being so patient with us. Um... For the commencement office, if they're given a certain amount of tickets and they needed additional tickets, is there any way that they can get those? Uh, they would just need to reach out to their classmates. Unfortunately, when we give out all the tickets, it will be the max capacity, so we won't have extra tickets. So I would just recommend reaching out to your classmates. As long as they're attending the same ceremony, then you can um, exchange tickets amongst each other. Okay, here's a good question for you, Jenny. Do I need a contact services to students with disabilities office to have an ASL interpreter for commencement or will the commencement um, team be providing one at these ceremonies? And if so, um, or if not, does an ASL interpreter need tickets? Yes, so for the guests, we will be providing ASL interpreters. So they will. there will be an identified section um, if you want to email commencement at csusb.edu, we can give you that specific section once it's been identified by the arena. For students, I would recommend reaching out to services to students with disabilities. That way they can ensure that the interpreter is in the right location based on the student lineup. Okay, and I believe this could go to you as well, Jenny, is... Do we have to apply for honors or is it automatically generated? And if so, will we be getting an email if we qualify for university honors? Um, Sergio can correct me if I'm wrong, but it is just automatically generated. So it will be based on your prior semester's grades, um, but it is automatically um, for university honors, it's just automatically um, awarded. And um, for it's different for departmental honors, but there's no application for university honors. Yeah, typically, yeah. Like, uh, like you said, um, once like if the student meets it, like there, it'll just be appearing on their, um, their transcripts and things like that. Awesome. I have a question here for Regalia, which I can help answer. So there's two questions. It says, how much does Regalia cost? And then also, if they purchase Regalia online, will they be able to pick it up at grad days? So if the Regalia cost, um. It, it varies from semester to semester. So again, if you have yet to receive a mailer to your address in the mail, um, you should be getting one um, from on behalf of Jostens and that will have all the information regarding how much regalia costs, how much diploma frames will be costing. There's some information with grad days on there as far as times, uh, dates and locations. So be on the lookout for that. If not, I recommend following the bookstore and they'll be able to um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be uh, promoting what the pricing is and when it would be available. 
regarding regalia, if you do purchase it online, you would have to communicate with, uh, if you purchase it online prior to grad days, you would have to speak with the Jostens team on if they'll have your order at grad days. Um, to my knowledge, if they'll send, they'll email, or sorry, they'll mail it to you if you purchased it online. If you come to grad days and purchase it there, you walk out the door with the regalia. Thank you guys for your questions. We're getting through as many of these as we can. Answer those. Um, regarding honors, is that printed on their diploma or is there any recognition other than the cords that they need to pick up or obtain? I'm going to defer to Sergio because I'm not aware. Um, I don't have any interaction or um, knowledge of the diplomas themselves. Can we repeat the question one more time? Yeah, so for honors, um, they understand that they get cords, but will honors be placed on the diploma when they get it in the mail? Or is there any other kind of honors related items that they need to pick up? Um, no. So I think it's like if there's any uh, honor stuff, it's just going to be the transcript. Uh, and I believe the diploma, that's it. Uh, like it'll be uh, indicated on there. OK. And for the commencement office, again, what is the last day to register for commencement? Yep. Last day to register for commencement is Monday, April 22nd at 5 p.m. OK. Um, if I were a Palm Desert student, I noticed that there will be two different dates for graduation. My question is, can I attend both graduations at the Toyota Arena? So I guess which ceremony? Yeah, so the ceremonies are broken up by academic colleges. If anyone needs help um, identifying which college they're part of, they can reach out to the commencement office and we can give, um, we can provide assistance. Okay, uh, I believe this question will be towards Sergio, is I don't plan on failing any classes, but if I were to, uh, these classes are all required for graduation. Do I still walk and graduate or do I need to make up the class after graduation? Just curious. Gotcha. Yeah. So if that happens uh, for whatever reason, then uh, you, you can still participate in the spring commencement ceremony. Like that's not going to be an issue. Um, but as far as, you know, receiving your diploma goes, uh, you would, yes, have to retake the class. Like if it is a class that needs to be retaken. Um, and then from there, you would have to refile your grad check to the summer. So that way we can award uh, your diploma later on, at, you know, once we uh, complete all the summer graduates. Yeah. But as far as commencement goes, you can still participate in that. Awesome. And then for the commencement office is, will there be any rehearsal for graduation prior to the commencement dates? No, there won't be any rehearsals prior. Students will receive all of the specific information two weeks prior to commencement. That details um, where they need to park, where they need to check in. They'll receive their name card, and then there'll be uh, people there helping them line up, as well as ushering them into the arena the day of. And then back to you, Jenny, for attire. Is, are we able to wear, is there any restrictions on what students could wear, such as sash, cores, lays, um, necklaces from their family? Um, I guess anything that goes around their neck, is there any restrictions on the amount? No, you've got the cap and gown. And then if you want to wear the sashes, I know there's cultural sashes, different um, different cords. So you're more than welcome to wear those along with the lace. Okay. Um, not sure who this exactly would be, but it says, could you please clarify if students who are graduating with their diplomas may also be eligible for certifications? If so, which departments will issue those or who should students talk to? For commencement ceremony purposes, um, it's just degrees, so master's and bachelor's degrees. If it's a certificate, I would recommend reaching out to the, the dean's office. I know College of Education has um, quite a few um, credentials and certificates that they offer, but I would recommend reaching out to the dean's office to see if there are any special recognition ceremonies for certificates. Okay. Uh, a question regarding commencement tickets. 
So what's the least amount of tickets that I should expect just to go based off of my family and let them know? Right now, I can't even make a guesstimate. <laughs> um, I got once to we get that. closer to closing registration, I would be able to, but I'm, I don't want to give anybody um, incorrect information. So right now, I wouldn't even be able to make a guess. Awesome. And for the question regarding regalia, there is no difference between regalia and cap and gown. Regalia is just a simple term to say cap and gown. Yeah. And also for our students that are earning their master's, when you get your cap and gown, you'll also want to make sure that you get the hood. So the hood is separate than the sashes and the cords. The hood is what is actually put on you at, at commencement. So you'll want to also make sure that you get the appropriate hood. The hoods are based on, the color is based on your major. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to us, but the bookstore also has all the detailed information, but you'll wanna make sure that um, you, you receive that as well. Awesome. And then a question regarding regalia is just wondering what size cap and gowns, what's the largest size that they offer? Um, I don't have an exact answer on the largest size. I know it goes based off of, I believe, height and weight. Um, so you would be able to reach out to the bookstore or to Johnson to get a better answer on that, um, especially for for all anyone who is there's another question that says I'm very short four foot 11 will be able to try my cap and gown before I purchase it. So that's why we highly recommend attending grad days. They will have the cap and gowns there. So you for display. Um, so you you will be able to see the correct sizing and Johnson's will supply their professional staff to kind of give you the best recommendation. Uh, again, going back to Black Grad and the Latin X, we don't have any answers as far as when those will be released or the dates. Um, please make sure to keep an eye out on your student email for specific emails from those organizations, as well as I will make sure to insert those affinity ceremonies into the senior newsletter when I hear word from them. Um, some of you may have mentioned this is being recorded. It will get sent out to you tomorrow via the senior newsletter that's that goes directly to your student email. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. A few more questions here, guys. Thank you guys so much for being patient. Um, as far as university honor cords, I am still confused on university honor cords. Should we have already gotten an email if eligible? Emails have not been sent out yet. So those will go out the first week of April. You'll get the official email from the, um, the registrar. And then Jenny, for commencement, it says that what if I registered for commencement, but I wasn't asked about how many guests I plan on bringing? Is that what your office goes off of when um, when assigning tickets? No, tickets are um, just divided up, divided up evenly amongst all of the registered students. Awesome. And then it says there's a question regarding tassels and sashes. Um, there's no exact link. We recommend pushing you to go to Jostens, um, especially attending grad days. Jostens will be in attendance and you can purchase all of your uh, tassels and sash needs there. Um, there was a question on if there's any, if you can purchase a sash from any vendor or company, you have the freedom to do so. Uh, we just strongly recommend you come to grad days and visit Jostens and purchase the sashes there. Um, okay, a few more questions here. Uh, for Ginny, what happens if we are unable to attend commencement? If you're not able to attend, you can reach out to the commencement office. And what we'll do is we'll send you out, we'll mail out the diploma cover, which is given out to students at the ceremony. So we can send that to you in the mail along with the printed program. Awesome. And here's a student who lives far away and they would like to attend grad days. Grad days for the San Bernardino campus, again, is going to be April 8th to the 9th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. inside the SMSU North Building Conference Center. Uh, and then April 10th is gonna be at the PDC campus inside the RG Building from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, regalia cost varies. You should be getting a mailer um, in the mail with from Jostens with information regarding that. Um, a few more questions. Um, I guess just to touch on a little bit more, Ginny, as far as, again, tickets on an expected date that they can receive on how many tickets they would be getting and if there's any resources 
or what they should do if they needed more tickets after. So ticket information will be released the day after registration closes. So it'll be released on Tuesday, April 23rd. All of the information will be sent out, how you collect, um, how you claim them, how you, um, how many you're getting, all of those fun details. And once again, for extra tickets, it would just be reaching out to your classmates that are participating in the same ceremony to make, to see if they have any additional tickets. And at no point, um, tickets should be for sale. They, there's no cost for them. Awesome. And I have a question here, probably towards you, Sergio. It says, after graduating, if our GPA rises, will this be noted on our transcript or change anything afterwards? Um, so is this like before, like, um, like grades are finalized, I, I guess? I I'm not sure. But we, we would, once the record's closed, like we can't update it. Um, uh, you can't change like the GPAs or anything like that. Um, but as far as like, if you were close to getting honors, like you threw it at 3.49, and then at the end of the spring, you were, you know, above the 3.5, um, you would eventually get honors, but it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be, uh, kind of put on there until after, the, like, it wouldn't be on there at commencement. And then... The last question we will go through for this webinar, um, two last questions is, I believe this would go towards you, Sergio. Where do you see on their grad one stop shop, one stop if you they are eligible for honors? Uh, eligible for, I don't, uh, I'm not sure if it's on there. I can claim that one real quick, Sergio. Um, so, so on the uh, grad one stop shop, if you are eligible, you'll see a, a different box that will pop up if you're eligible and it will tell you what level you're eligible for. If you're not eligible, it won't show up. Okay. And then the last two questions go to you, Jenny. It says uh, tickets, it says, sorry, you said that tickets would not be given to us at no charge. I guess, again, just clarify what the process on tickets is. And then if they were able to register for commencement, there's nothing else that needs to be done for them and their families for the ceremonies, correct? Yeah, so there is no charge. The tickets that are given out by the commencement office, there is no charge for any of the tickets. And then regarding commencement, if you're registered, now you'll just keep an eye out on your email for the details on how to claim tickets, all of the specific details on the day of commencement, and then make sure that you attend grad days to get your cap and gown. Beautiful, so that will conclude this webinar, Coyote Grad Prep for the spring 24 semester. Thank you to all the individuals who participated. Thank you, Jenny and Stephanie from the commencement office. Thank you, Sergio from the office of the registrar. Thank you, Mark, for providing your services. Um, again, if there's any additional questions that you students may need, please feel free to contact the commencement office or the office of the registrar. And once again, this webinar is being recorded, so I will make sure to send it to you via the senior newsletter tomorrow. So thank you so much for attending. Have a great rest of your guys' day.